best. I want to be the best. Simple as the way. That's why I play the game. But to be the best, you have to win. And that's what drives me. He's the best player in the game. It's just that simple. There's nothing that Kobe Bryant can't do. He will defend your best player. He will shoot from the perimeter. He will get all in your mug. He will do whatever it takes. He is the most complete basketball Man. Man. Guys, you know, it's, uh, I can't believe how fast 20 years went by. I mean, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. What can I say? Mamba out. To be honest, the way I feel about Kobe, like, my mom liked him, my father, everyone in my family just liked him. Even my brother, he just looked up to Kobe. Like, every time my brother would, like, do anything, he'd always yell, Kobe, Kobe, and, like, to know that he's retiring is pretty sad because I guess there's no more Kobe. Oh my gosh. He's so beautiful. I love him. I watched all his games. I'm his biggest fan. He's just so amazing. So much passion. Go I mean, when he first announced that he was retiring, it was really sad because, like, everyone knows Kobe. Everyone knows what he's done for the game, how he's helped it evolve. He came in, he was still pretty good as a rookie, but now he's evolved even better. It's nice to see that he hasn't really lost his sense of play and his love for the game. He brings the passion every time he steps on the court. He's a loyal Lakers guy. I had a moment with Kobe a couple years ago. He was walking to the bus after a Raptor game, and part of my job with the Raptors is to deal with the visiting players. And I had a chance to ask him, when are you going to retire? So he kind of told me two years ago that it would be in a couple years. So I kind of had a little advance notice on that. So I was wondering if he was going to stay true to that. and. Uh, he actually did, which was a, was a surprise. I think it was time. Um, although Kobe's last game, he dropped 60 points, was amazing. I just think the wear and tear in his body and uh, the level that he expected of himself was dropping. So I think uh, he walked out on top, and I think it was a good time. Feel how Kobe changed the game was that he took on the role as a villain. He didn't really want to be friends with uh, people on other teams. Uh, even now in his retirement, he allowed some of his former teammates and uh, players around the league to come talk to him. Otherwise, he would have kept them at arm's length. He really liked to have that competitive edge, so he didn't really let a lot of people into uh, his personal world. So I think that kept him sharp and it kept him uh, wanting to be a warrior all the time. Well, it was uh, obviously a shame for basketball because he's uh, one of the greats but um, he had a really long career and a successful career so um, you know it was also exciting tried to get tickets to see his last game in Toronto because he was here but uh, they were pretty costly and the game was really busy so I didn't get to make it but um, I mean Kobe had a good career and uh, so he's a basketball star definitely for all of the up-and-coming uh, basketball players, all of our Toronto players, lots of people look up to him. We have students that look up to him, so um, he's definitely a role model in the in the athletic industry and sports industry. And of course, we wish him well in his retirement. Everywhere, would you please? Scoreboard says 60-49. We have it at 64. Lamar on the rebound. And Lamar has to get going. All of the Lakers have to get going offensively. Kobe has been going, and he keeps it. I wouldn't be surprised if it happened again here tonight, the way the Lakers are playing, D. Well, I talked about the first five minutes where the Lakers are not winning that, and they've fallen behind even further. Um, it was 2006, a hot summer evening, and that was a fit time for Kobe to show them how it's done, because. 2006 was the era of a lot of famous players that were still in the game to that date. And Kobe had to show them why he's better than the rest. So he started off, you know, he got off to a good start. 20 points by the first quarter. More than that. And then once we got to the fourth quarter, he hit 60, 70. Everybody was shocked. Like, this can't be happening. Um, all I can say is that that night was like, a new level for basketball as a sport. Like, Kobe showed them that he's not just another guy. He's amazing and he has greatness in his blood. 
Kobe has been going and he keeps it. And I wouldn't be surprised. Kobe, um, Kobe had a really good impact on a lot of basketball players. He was a great uh, athlete. He came right out of high school to compete in the NBA, which was a really uh, hard task to do. What I really liked about Kobe was his work ethic. Every uh, summer he would work on a different part of his game. He just didn't rely on his athletic ability. He wanted to be the best and put in uh, a lot of hard work. And I think that was his biggest impact uh, for me as a player and uh, as a coach. I really love seeing that. I want to be the best. I want to be the best. Simple as play. That's why I play the game. But to be the best, you have to win. And that's what drives me. He's the best player in the game. It's just that simple. There's nothing that Kobe Bryant can't do. He will defend your best player. He will shoot from the perimeter. He will get all in your mug. He will do whatever it takes. He is the most complete. Cut it. Cut it. Them bricks is way too high. You need to cut it. Cut it. It's way too high, you need to cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Okay, you can go now. Well, the way I feel about Kobe Bryant retiring, it's very sad, you know. I was a really big fan of his, and like, I don't know, just watching. Why was he watching?